name is Alex Moeller. We're out here at Woodhall Vineyard today, crop thinning some Pinot Gris. Got a big clump of grapes here. It's too much crop load for the vine. So we're going to thin off some of the fruit and we're going to try and open it up, uh, thin it in a way that each cluster is um, independent and has air movement. So there's not a big uh, mass of grapes prone to botrytis. So, I'll just start thinning off some of this fruit. You gotta get in there. short shoot. We don't want those guys. He's never going to get ripe. And here's a here's a shoot with three clusters. Automatically take this one because it's not going to get the sugar that the primary and secondary are. Both of those look pretty good. Still kind of heavy so I'm going to take that one too. Here's a wing, good example of a wing. I like to take those too. Important to not damage the fruit with your shears because it can create an infection point. Now if we look at it, it looks a little better. I still want to take one more. That looks pretty good to me. And how do you choose how much to thin? Um, <laughs> That's a good question. Um, we start with a target crop load. For Pinot Gris, I would put my crop load on these vines of this age and this um, canopy at about three tons per acre. Um, and once you have your shoot counts and your cluster counts and your vine counts for the block, you can do an equation and find out um, about how many clusters per vine you want and then from that number you can decide okay I want shoots with two clusters a shoot which is usually heavy or the shoots to alternate two clusters one cluster two clusters one cluster which is what I've done here um, or if it's really heavy uh, you can go to one cluster per shoot which is more of a Pinot Noir thing for the low uh, target yield of about two tons an acre, depending. So we're in the 06 Pinot Noir block here at Woodhall. Uh, these vines were planted in 06. This video is shot in 09. So this is the third growing year for these vines. Um, we decided to crop thin to one cluster a shoot early. We made that decision early, um, maybe two weeks or three weeks before Verazon started. Uh, because we knew we didn't want to overcrop them. So we went to one cluster of shoot to try and get some crop off these young vines, but also not to overcrop them and steal the reserve energy for next year um, because we want to we want to extend our, our canes out next year and try and get a full canopy. So it's a balance between trying to get some fruit and save some energy for next year's growth. Um, and this is what it looks like each shoot gets one cluster. Um, if the shoot is weak, it maybe gets no clusters. And as you can see, the fruit is looking nice. The clusters are pretty uniform. The color, we're just at the end of Raisin now. And sugars are coming up.